Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen and if you are new here, I make videos about motherhood and lifestyle. And today we are gonna talk about the Ava bracelet. So, let's get into it. of the Ava bracelet. It is this device right here and it is to help with a couple different things. So you can use it to track your cycle. You can also use it as a fertility tracker. So um, I guess I want to give a little bit of a backstory of why I have this and what I think about it, what my experience was like. First of all, this is not a sponsored video. This is not sponsored. This is all my own opinions and my experience just using this. So hopefully, hopefully it's helpful if you are thinking about buying an Ava bracelet and, um, you know, hopefully it will help you kind of figure out if it's the right thing for you or if it's not. So, um, <clears throat> Let me give you a little bit of a backstory on myself. So let's see where to begin. <laughs> so essentially I myself had been on birth control for the majority of my life. So I am 34 now and I had been on it for over 15 years. Um, I guess not the majority, so like half of my life, kind of. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm tired. <laughs> but, um, so, and for me, it's funny, through this whole experience and learning and using the Ava bracelet and learning so much about my body, I realized how disconnected from my body I really had been for a lot of my life. Um, I think the goal when I went on birth control was for me to not get pregnant and um, which worked, but it also created this sort of, um, this really big disconnect where I, I would just take the pill and I would get my period every month, but it was very light, it was, very like no big deal. I never had any sort of like serious PMS symptoms of like, um, like cramps, anything like that. So there was very much like no drama type of thing for with my period and other things like for a long time. And so I kind of never really thought about what it meant to get pregnant, what it would be like to track my cycle, all these things because I just, it, I almost just like blacked it out of my mind <laughs> because all in my head I was like, take pill, not get pregnant, take pill, not get pregnant. And that was sort of like really the extent of it. I never really thought of, I didn't even really think about what the pill was doing to prevent me from getting pregnant. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know if other people experience this, but that's just kind of how I lived, lived my life. <laughs> And, um, that was that. And so when it came time to think about starting a family and maybe getting pregnant and trying to conceive and, um, that whole shebang, I didn't really know too much. <laughs> I feel like I had to really re-educate myself on what exactly was going on in my body, um, you know, what it meant to ovulate, when do you ovulate, um, what does that feel, what's going on with your body. I don't know, there was just a lot that I had no idea. And I think I just was so preoccupied with so many other aspects of my life, I never really thought about it until I had to think about it. And so I felt like I needed help. I felt like I kind of would scour the internet and I would be like, hmm, what is this? Oh, what? Ovulation? Uh, what are us? And like, you know, I felt like there were so many um, just like 
there's this huge community out there of women who are trying to conceive. There's these like codes for all these words and it can be very intimidating because you are sort of like, I, I remember sort of like constantly Google searching what like certain things, abbreviations meant in these like groups and chats and things that people would use and who are trying to conceive. So for me, I was like, I felt like I had no idea it, what I was doing. <laughs> so I decided to stop taking my birth control and um, I bought an Ava bracelet <laughs> because I needed help. I, I needed help. I needed to figure out what things looked like, what life looked like not on the pill and what my body felt like not on the pill and what my period was like and, you know, all that. So, and what I felt like and um, so it was kind of exciting, kind of scary because I had no idea what I was in for. Um, but so back to the Ava bracelet after my rant about my lack of knowledge of being a woman, <laughs> but, um, so this bracelet actually made me feel so much more confident about what I was doing. And essentially what it is, this is a bracelet that helps you do a lot of different things. So, um, essentially it tracks different things in your body while you're sleeping. So you wear it at night and, um, it tracks things like your body temperature. Um, let me, I'm going to pull it up here. I'm just going to put it on my wrist so I can wear it. So this is the bracelet. Get like a close up look at it. It's actually like pretty cool. It's like very sort of like sleek and it kind of looks like a little Apple watch, but anyway, so the Ava bracelet, when you buy the Ava bracelet, it comes with, or part of like the deal or part of like using it is you download an app on your phone. So it's just called the Ava app. And essentially what it does is while you're sleeping, it tracks a lot of different pulled up here and this is what it looks like. So it shows, so I pulled up, um, the data that I had used. Um, so this is like the, um, this is probably data from like December of 2019. So, um, essentially what you do is you put your Ava bracelet on before you go to bed. And then while you're sleeping, it tracks different things. So it tracks your resting pulse rate, your skin temperature, breathing rate, sleep, HRV ratio. And then it also has, um, a section where it has like daily log information. So you can log things like if you have sex, if you, how you're feeling in your mood, your cervical fluid, um, you know, what's going on there. <laughs> um, and then it also has, so that section is, um, there's like different sections on the app and the app is very easy to use um, because I know sometimes apps can be confusing and you're like, what is going on? And so this was really easy to use. And the way that it gets the data is when you wake up in the morning, you um, take your bracelet off, you just open the app and you literally hit a button that says like sync data. And it just pulls it right from the bracelet and populates all the little um, charts. I don't know if you can see this on here. Uh, probably not, but I can, um, I can probably take a screenshot and put in that information. I'll kind of like let you see what it looks like, <laughs> but, and then there's another section that's super helpful of the app that is a calendar. So this is what, um, I really needed, especially going off the pill and not really knowing when I was going to get my period and really anything. So, um, what it does is it, it's kind of like uses all of your data and uses it to make predictions of 
what it thinks is going to happen. So essentially you would put in, let's say you get your period, you, you say, I got my period today and you can even specify it to see, say that it was really light, medium or heavy. Um, and you put the little data in each day. And then it, once I think it, it's like, once it gets like a month, in, it can sort of start to really predict and then the longer you use it it sort of adjusts and gets a lot more I don't know I think maybe more accurate I'm not really sure or it just kind of really figures your body out and so it will take when it will show you when you, they think you're gonna have your period and then it also shows you your fertile windows which is really cool so it will show you when you have sort of low fertility versus high fertility it shows when they predict when you are actually going to ovulate and if you're trying to have a baby um that is the time that you want to try and have one <laughs> so it kind of gives you an idea of when the best times to have sex um when you, if you're trying to get pregnant um also maybe you could if it you have a really high fertility time maybe you don't want to have sex then and you don't so <laughs> kind of just like gives you information and um you know it's also a lot of it is kind of predicting things so it's not like for sure it this phone app and bracelet know that you're literally ovulating on you know like the 15th or whatever day but um it kind of is a pretty good guess. Really, you don't really know when you're gonna get your period. You don't really know when you're ovulating, like the exact time and date for sure. You can kind of just have a good idea of when it's gonna happen. And so this is super helpful with that. And that's what I loved about it. I started using it in November and um, that's when I went off my birth control and we were super lucky and um, I ended up getting pregnant in December. So um, I used it for like two full months before I got pregnant and um, it just was really helpful for myself and to learn more about my body it was really interesting even just seeing how many hours I slept at night was really cool there's just like these little things that I just had never you know I never owned a Fitbit I never owned any of those things and so it just was really interesting to learn information about your body and things like that and essentially the more you use it and they, they give you little tips and tricks also there's little things like you can see that can kind of give you little indications if you may be pregnant. Things like your skin temperature, they say that your skin temperature starts to rise as you get pregnant. So if you, um, or when you get pregnant, and so if you're um, syncing your data every day, when you wake up and you're kind of noticing that your skin temperature is going up, each day you're kind of can be like, hmm, what does that mean? And so uh, it could mean that you're pregnant along with a lot of other factors. So it's just kind of cool. I mean, I love having a lot of ton of information and I think for someone like myself, it was really helpful. So they call it the Ava Fertility Tracker. Um, you can purchase it for online. It is, I'm just looking at their website right now. It's $259 for just these regular package. I used someone's promo code from Instagram and I got like $40 off or something. And I, that's what I did. Um, and I was really happy with my purchase. I mean, I think for someone that is looking to learn more about their body, someone like myself who had been on birth control for a really long time and was really kind of out of the game of tracking my cycle figuring out what was going on, when I would be ovulating. I had no idea if I even was ovulating. <laughs> so um, for me, this was kind of a whole educational experience. And um, 
I think that it worked really well for us. I'm, I stopped wearing it for a while when I was pregnant. I have recently started wearing it again just to track my cycle and just, I was just curious to see, um, kind of putting that data in and trying to figure out more of, cause it's just helpful for planning. You can be like, oh, it looks like I'm gonna get my period on this week of next month or whatever. So for me, that's helpful. <laughs> but um, something that was also really cool that I didn't realize that I would use a lot, but I really ended up doing was there's a large community online um, of people that use the Ava bracelet. So there's a Facebook group called like the Ava bracelet Facebook group or Ava trying to conceive Facebook group. And I know there's a ton of like TTC uh, groups out there, um, but this one I really loved and I feel like it was just easier to just go to that Facebook group. And um, I think sometimes it can be overwhelming when there's just like so many different options and so many different groups and websites and forums and discussion things and so I would just I joined that group and I would go there and it was just really interesting to learn other women's stories and hear their struggles with infertility or um what they were doing to try and get pregnant or just hear it all I just really was kind of in a phase in my life where I wanted to just learn information about all of it because I think when you've decided to um, try and get pregnant it can be kind of scary because it opens up the door to a lot of different things so it doesn't just isn't just like yay we're gonna have a baby <laughs> it's kind of also scary because with that can come you know some like sad disappointing things or really scary hard things and so I wanted to be prepared um, and kind of know what I was in for um, and really make sure that I was ready and so I think that if you were like me then I think that this could be a good option for you I really enjoyed the community that it brought um, I still and then when I got pregnant they uh, or well I still am in that group but also there's um, you can join another group called Ava Parent. There's like Ava Pregnancy and then like Ava Parents. And so um, it's been really cool to um, have a place to go where I can see other women sharing their stories. And I think that's been really helpful. So the Ava community, I really enjoyed. And that was an un unexpected, I think, like plus to getting the bracelet also. And essentially the bracelet, when you wear it, you can't even really feel it. It has this very comfortable rubber band. Um, and then it just has this white square is that is the bracelet it's very thin this is where you charge it so I charge it during the day and then when I go to bed I just have it by my nightstand um, I was gonna say when I get home from work but now we are working from home and so <laughs> when I go to bed I guess um, so I um, just put it on and then when I wake up I sync it with my phone and then I just plug it back in so it's really easy and um yeah i think it's kind of cool but yeah so if you were on the fence you're not really sure hopefully a lot of that information will be helpful kind of as you're figuring out if it's the right decision for you um for me it was the right decision and i'm really glad that i went with it and i got it and yeah so Hopefully that's helpful and if you have any questions about it or you're still on the fence about it, definitely leave me a comment, send me a message, send me a, um, a message, a, send me a DM on Instagram or a comment down below. Let me know and I will be happy to answer any questions you may have if I can. Um, but yeah. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching and if you have not yet subscribed, subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit that like button, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you and I will see you in my next video. Alright, bye guys.